this is Mr. H here. I'm going to give you a quick rundown of how to complete your lab using the virtual sim that's linked on the top of your lab sheet. So if you look at part one on the lab after reading the directions, uh, part one says you're going to fill in a data table. So what's given to you is your object distance. So let's go through quickly what we're looking at here. So if you have your object, um, it's the red arrow. Okay, so when they're talking about the object, they're talking about the red arrow here that's on the left side of the lens. Okay, your image is the blue arrow on the right side of the lens. Okay, so if you look at that data table, what you're going to be doing is you're going to be changing the DO, and then from there, you're going to collect your data and calculate some of your columns. So for example, first column there, you're setting your DO at 170 centimeters. So there I am, I'm at 170, okay, for my object distance. Okay, and then I come over here and now I have my image distance. So what we see uh, on this little screen, right, it, it very clearly states my object distance is 170 centimeters. My image distance is 70.83 centimeters. I can record that in my data table and then I will calculate the reciprocal of my distance, 1 over DO, and the same thing for my image distance as well. Okay, you will also notice that the object height is given here and the image height. So um, we don't want to mess with the object height. That's this uh, parameter, or this toggle here rather. Uh, you're not going to change that. We're going to leave that at 20 for the entire lab. And in addition, down here we have the focal length of our lens. We're going to leave that at 50 for the entirety of the lab as well. Please, so please do not mess around with these two bottom sliders here. You're only going to be varying your object distance with this first slider. Okay, so you'll go ahead and you'll do this for the, um, all the DOs listed in that data table. You know, it goes from 170 to 160, etc. And then you'll collect the data and calculate. Uh, from there, you're going to use that data to complete uh, a graphical analysis graph on your iPad, which will be submitted separately from this lab. Uh, the tutorial on how to complete that follows this portion of the video. Uh, once you complete the data table, you will get to some post lab questions. The post lab questions will ask you to slide the object inside the focal length. Okay, so this is your focal length here, this dot, this first dot. So um, I believe that one, they ask you to slide it to like 30 centimeters. So you can take your, your, uh, your object, slide it to 30, and then you can record again uh, what you see, what the difference is. Okay, and then at another point uh, of the post lab questions, they will ask you to switch it to a diverging lens. We are currently at a converging lens. Uh, it's, you know, the, the large uh, bold purple writing up here clearly states that. If you want to change it to diverging, simply click diverging down here. And now, oh, there we go. We have a diverging lens. Okay, so that's basically uh, how you run this lab. It's, there's not a lot of um, variability here. There's only a few things you can do. It's pretty cut and dry. So I don't uh, foresee a lot of issues, but if you do have problems, please email your teacher. And let's go ahead and move on to the graphical analysis portion. All right, this is Mr. H here. I'm gonna give you a quick rundown of how to enter your data using graphical analysis. So you open the graphical app, you'll see this, you'll pick manual entry. And then from there, you're gonna to wanna to go ahead and uh, set your values in your columns here. So you click on column options. We don't want to call this X. We want this to be 1 over DI. Over DI. And the units for that, of course, is going to be 1 over the centimeter. We'll apply that. Do the same thing for the Y. We're going to do 1 over DO. The units for that will be 1 over the centimeter. Oops, one over the centimeter. And then from there, we can go ahead and put our data into our graph here, or our data table, rather. I'm just going to go ahead and make some stuff up here. Uh, I'm going to call this, uh, let's see, 0 0.05. We'll go 0 0.01. Again, this is just my fake data here. You'll take your actual data from your table and put that information in. Once we have that, you should have your points showing up in your graph. Uh, if we need to, if you can't see it all, right, you can get all of your data in here. Whoops, there we go. So we've got our points in there. 
Right, and then we need to go ahead and we'll do a best fit. So you click and drag over your points. And then we will do apply curve fit, linear apply. Your statistics will pop up there. You can see that you do have your slope, your M, and you have your intercept as well. So now once you have your values, you do need to make sure that we edit our graph options. We're going to give our um, graph a title. So it's dependent versus independent. So it's 1 over DO versus independent 1 over DI. And then once we get that in, we can see our title in there. And now we can go ahead and we can get screenshots of our information. So you go one graph. You can screenshot that. You can throw that into our notability, and then you can go ahead and get your table as well. Screenshot that. You'll be able to throw that into notability. And then once you have that in, in your notability, from there, and go ahead and create a new note. You'll add your photos. Let's see, I'll get both of those in there. Scale them up. And then we'll want to make sure you get a sample calc here of how you got your 1 over DO and 1 over DI. And then you'll want to make sure you get the equation of the line here on your graph. Once all of that is done, you'll submit that through Schoology and you'll be done with the lab. That's it. Good luck.